welcome to my channel. My name is Simona. I am usually doing some deco denning here on this channel on my live streams. If you haven't checked out my live streams, it's every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am here on YouTube as well as Twitch and TikTok. So come hang out uh, whenever you want. <laughs> so today I'm going to be doing a little bit of unboxing of supplies. Uh, these are supplies that I've gotten from Amazon, AliExpress, a little bit of eBay as well. And uh, I am also going to be showing you in this video a little bit of resin pouring and demolding hmm so funny story uh, that didn't get recorded haha -ha, the file was corrupted so you guys are just gonna have to hear the demolding in your mind <laughs> i am so sorry a little a, a tiny bit of asmr uh for you guys i know you guys really like that stuff i find it super boring to film but i i did it for you so you're welcome Sorry this video took out took really long for me to come out with because I wanted to film each time that a big package came in. And to be honest, there's actually one more package that I still haven't unpacked, but uh, I wanted to, you know, film this intro for you guys. And uh, without further ado, uh, let me show you guys all that stuff. So take it away. Okay, so this is gonna be like super fast, but we are starting with the miniature suite stuff, which is the last package I got. And all of this stuff that you see me unpack right now, this is all freebies that Miniature Suite sends whenever I order stuff from them. They kind of just send me like a sample of everything that they do. So resin, molds, some, you know, charms, little chains, like this is the first time I got that chain, it was real cute. Um, little polymer pieces, you know, etc. stickers, um, little knickknacks that even I don't know what they do, but um, I keep everything because why throw stuff out that's free? And also some of the stuff is interesting, like that little head and shoulders charm, someday, someday guys, someday that head and shoulders charm will be used on a case and uh, who will be laughing then? All of us, I think. Uh, so yeah, a lot of stuff to do like resin artwork, which even though I don't do that type of resin work, I still keep all the supplies because hey, maybe someday. Uh, and here you're seeing me like separate everything into colors so that I can put it away into my organization stuff. So from Miniature Suite, I also got a little bit of Decoden cream and by a little bit, I mean a bunch, just a bunch. I pretty much bought uh, everything they had. So for Miniature Suite, most of the stuff is all jelly, decoden, uh, and I'm going to show you some of the colors that I got and just like compare a little bit the ones that are similar, but this is the first time that I got from Miniature Suite the shimmery decoden cream. I have already used it and it's pretty much the same thing as the Etsy shop where I get decoden cream from, which is Northcraft Home. But yeah, so uh, I just kind of buy like a large amount of the colors that I know I use a lot, like white and pink and light blue. Um, unfortunately, the miniature sweet ones are 50 gram bags, whereas that Etsy shop that I mentioned, those are all 100 grams. So they kind of last longer. And here we go, uh, I'm packing a bunch of uh, just little charms, which all come individually wrapped. And this is so boring, so I just put on an audiobook and just go crazy. I think currently there I was reading like book 12 of The Wheel of Time. I'm already on book 14. I am a champ. Uh, but yeah, every time I unpack these videos, I want to do like an auditory ASMR. But guys, this took me forever to unpack each one. They all come wrapped in little <laughs> Ziploc bags. And there's a point where I gave up and I just started cutting them. I was like, I don't, I, I'm not going to reuse these little guys. They are too many. And it's so tedious to open each one. And they also like, it's like little bags in big bags. Anywho, uh, some of the charms that I got from Miniature Suite, they come in sets. So these are all like little brown charms. Um, very cute, uh, you know, chocolate guys. And so many stars. Like, oh, so many stars. Like stars and moons, I, during these like, couple of hauls there's just so many i i think i'm good i think i'm good on moons like these big ones right here 
You think you've seen the last of them? Mm -mm, no. Uh, so, as I've stated a billion times before, but maybe you don't know, because maybe, hey, this is your first video. I do organize all of my charms by color families. So, I put the warm tones, the cool tones, and um, the pinks, and then the black and whites in separate um little drawer areas in my studio so as you're gonna see here I'm going to be organizing them um, pretty much by color family uh, again when they come like these large amounts of charms you know I just kind of like it takes forever guys <laughs> um, but what's good about charms like these like these stars as you saw they are double-sided so if I have a customer who wants a star on it but they don't want like you know the cutesy little stars on it um, I just use the other side hey you know, multi-use for every single charm that I get. Um, this is the first time that I get these little pearl charms. They're very, very cute, but I do kind of like lose track of them in my drawers full of stuff. Um, and as you can see here, I have some bags of like uh, the flat back pearls. I'm gonna organize them just a little bit, but more than anything, I had to give up because I honestly don't have enough room for all of them. So I just kind of put them all in baggies and they're just sitting here next to my desk. And whenever I need a color, I just open up a little baggie. But yeah, um, this could be better. Sorry, <laughs> it's not that uh, pretty. You know, it's it's a lot. It's a lot of charms and I do use them up. So yeah, from Miniature Suite, they have amazing different shapes and especially colors like those hearts. There's some turquoise hearts that I've already used and they are just perfect for certain color schemes. Uh, these little pastel stars and um, hearts. Again, like their stuff is great. It just comes packed in so much plastic. Like... Oh my goodness. So, we, too, we do try to recycle everything we can, but you know, sometimes, like these little baggies, like what am I gonna reuse these for? <laughs> ah, anywho. Yeah, so lots of bats, lots of stars, <laughs> lots of gummies and, and sweets and hearts. As you can see, that's like the majority of charms that I end up using on cases. But uh, yeah, th this is this is all still from Miniature Suite. I did make a huge order of charms from them, um, which was great. <laughs> it did take a little while to get to me because I also ordered for the first time from them some UV resin, which I have used and it's so good. It really stinks that uh, FedEx delayed my shipment of all these wonderful charms just for one little UV resin. But you know, it's good um more stars oh my goodness like the amount of stars that i ordered and yet i'll still be like oh but i'm missing this color you know <sighs> these are so pretty though and as you can see i don't know if you guys have been able to tell a lot of these charms do have holes already in them um, to make them into necklaces or earrings. So these charms are not just good for deco den. They're also good for anybody uh, Who likes to make jewelry or likes to make you know little keychains or pendants uh, With this stuff. So I, I really highly suggest checking them out Y'all, when I tell you I got so many moons, like specifically these large ones, <laughs> and this is just the stuff I got from Miniature Suite, like I also bought these moons from AliExpress and a little bit from Amazon, so I think I'm good on these guys <laughs> for like a lifetime.
those macaroons are so cute but anywho here are the rest of those aforementioned um flatback pearls uh that's the moment i gave up that's it that was it these are some charms from kawaii universe that i'm going to be using for these um phone cases that i'm going to be making with them are they so cute and uh okay so these are all charms from aliexpress uh this whole unboxing was just a bunch of orders from aliexpress they do come in like different packages different mailers but they get put all into one mailer so like i get a one package that is a bunch of orders from aliexpress i don't know exactly how it works but uh it works out for me because then i got to uh just open one package that had all these guys again everything wrapped in plastic please like why, why we gotta do this to the world <laughs> and here we have some moons but wait a minute we'll get to them to the more of those big moons just just you wait like there's mm, so many more coming I know you can't actually hear it, but like, can you imagine the sound that this bag right here made on my table? <laughs> so many moons. Look at these guys. Look at these big boys. And this isn't the end of it. I, I know that there's more. So I think I'm good on these guys. <laughs> um, they're also great because they are double sided technically. Uh, one side is like a little matte and the other side is more shiny. But I mean, nothing a little UV resin can't fix. And as you can see, out of that entire bag, only one of them came broken. It's pretty solid. Pretty solid if you ask me. These next couple of uh, packages are all Amazon. Uh, it, it, I swear, I order way more from Amazon than it looks like here, but it's just what had arrived that day, so I might as well have shown you. We have some possums, we have some One Piece, we have some lipsticks, and we have some Marie's that were a free gift. Uh, we love free gifts. <laughs> and um, yeah, so the next little bit is going to be the... Um, resin pouring hopefully yes there it is so uh i apologize i definitely did record me demolding all of these resin crafts and i sent it to my editor and all they got was me doing a sound test that was it just me snapping at the camera saying here we go baby and the rest was corrupted so um we're just going to have to uh enjoy at least the pouring of the resin so i have um what i call a lazy but uh, effective way of making pop sockets and that is that i actually pour clear into all of my molds and i add a little bit of uh, glitter into it just so that there's like a little bit of pizzazz in there and then when i demold them I have all these clear pop sockets and then all I have to do is if one of them needs to be pink, I'll just paint the back side of it pink using either fabric paint or enamel or sometimes acrylic and then I just have, you know, clear blanks that I can make them whatever color I want and I actually even showed that in the demolding video when I did film it and you guys missed it. Uh, here I'm adding a little bit of colored glitter to some of them because these are the colors that I use a lot and I do love these chunky glitters and so do the people that order from me, so. It's justified, <laughs> I swear. Um, and a little bit of the red as well because that, that's just the color that it's commonly used and I don't remember if I did this or not during this pouring but sometimes I'll add a little drop of black ink to some of the molds just so that I have some plain black uh, which is also a very commonly ordered color for pop sockets but again if I need a black one I can just paint the back of a clear one black and bada boom bada boom 
I got it, you got it, you know, it works out for all of us. There it is, there's the black ink. I knew I did it. I knew I did it. So yeah, it's a lazy way, but effective way of just having all of the shapes that I need uh, and whatever color I need them to be, I can uh, do it. This little shell mold, actually that was the first time that I used it. And um, pretty, pretty snazzy. Pretty snazzy if I do say so myself. And that's me checking for the ASMR. Ah! Guys, for joining me today. As always, I do go live on this channel, Twitch and TikTok, every Tuesday and Thursday. You can watch me work on some custom orders if you uh, join me on one of those. And that is it. Everything is linked down below. I have my link tree, which has links to not just supplies, not just my shop, but also this awesome t-shirt collab that I did with Kawaii Universe. Kawaii Universe is a Kawaii company that is from down here from South Florida. And and we got to work on two designs. This is one of them. And I'm gonna put at the end of this video, I'll put my little my little TikTok that I that I did. My little commercial. But yeah, go check out uh, that link as well as all of my other picks from their shop is in the same link. So if you go to you know what, I'll let the video say what I wanted to say here. Just use your use your peepers. You'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for joining me, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.